Hello everyone. So here's an example of how to use the remote debugger on the iPhone. I have installed the Gambit remote debugger in the same application that I used at, in my previous post about how to use Gambit on the iPhone. I basically did this by including this file and then I configured it to tell it where the server is running. I'm going to go over here and run the server and then run the application and see if anything goes bad. And it does. Can't convert to C float. Initially, we see that this is because glrotate f is an FFI function, and that FFI functions require strict types. And so all of these arguments need to be reals. So this first argument is bad. It can't be an integer. We have all of Gambit's re debugging facilities with us right now. This REPL is actually running on in the iPhone application, but it's just using it's just piping the input and output onto my current laptop, which is pretty awesome. So if we use Gambit's comma i command, it displays the procedure currently attached to the frame, or basically the procedure which aired out. There's also a comma b, which is a backtrace. There's comma y, which is a one-line summary of the current frame. So basically we can see that glrotate f is called right here and it uses rotate speed in the first argument. So let's look at rotate speed. We do see that it is a zero integer and not a zero real. Looking further into the procedure we can see that rotate speed is actually set to the zero integer at the top. And it looks like it does that after the program has been running for 3 seconds and before 3.1 seconds. I actually put that in there to purposefully put in an error so that we could show this example. So we can actually set the rotate speed to a valid value and continue along our way and the program runs just fine. So that's one example of how to debug an error. I'm actually going to take out that code and I'm also going to enable a main gambit repl in our program. This requires a recompilation and a reinstallation of the application. Start the server. I did actually have to restart the server because of an I.O. bug in the system right now. So now when we start the application, we see that we get a main Gambit repl. This is really fascinating because now we can do any of the interactive development that we would normally do at the console. If you look in graphics.scheme, you'll see that there's a few global variables at the top, which is basically define how the program renders this sine wave, num boxes, zoom level, and rotate speed. Now, in our main gamut repla, which is currently running inside of this iPhone application, we can actually change dynamically the state and play around with the application in real time. Now if we do something bad, which throws an error, we'll actually get a new window just like before. Which I just threw the same error which was happening before. So if we fix this error, do all of our normal debugging, then the application continues running along fine. Now what's really cool is you could actually define new procedures and redefine procedures just like you would in Emacs, basically. Um, and so that is a few things you can do with the remote debugger.